Uh, all right, guys, welcome back to Rouse House. Uh, let's see what we can do with this picture. So straighten this up a little bit. I mean, this is a quick, down and dirty, it's a sketch of a place that I've been. I saw this past week. I said, man, if we see if we can capture some of this. Right now, I ain't captured nothing. Let's see if we can straighten this out a little bit. Put paint on paint. Now I got something to move around. Let's see if I can build into what we need to do. Again, we're going to start back here. With this we're going to get a little more particular about what we're doing. We're going to start back in this area back here and kind of develop these trees a little bit into trees, not just a blob. Uh, the sun's setting over here, sitting on the mountains, heading west. It's going to be casting that strong light coming across that field uh, while we're doing that. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to grab a, a good strong light color. We've got our white. I'm going to grab that right up into here. And I'm going to grab some of this yellow and put in with it. I want it to be kind of a green color, but I want it, I want this to be bright. Uh, just a touch of green into that. There we go. And that's the kind of grass and the, the green and the, that's kind of what I'm wanting that's going to be coming across that field. See. We're going to lose that back under those trees, but I want that light, that strong light coming from back there. It's going to be coming across there. See if we can capture some of that. And remember, really, where you have your darkest darks, is where your lightest lights will be. And we'll try to get some of that right under those trees, those dark trees over there. We're going to have these dark trees here, and that light's going to be coming. Oh, just a, you know, there was probably a tree there casting that shadow, but, but on this side of it, a little bit of light came through. See, you know how it does in the woods between all the trees. You got those lights coming wherever the sunshine you can get between those trees and comes across. We're going to cut some of that into there. I want to get a little bit lighter now. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that white. Just really get that light. So I want that coming back in here. Just I want to know it's there. I want to know where it's coming from. But I'm really not going to see it when I go with how we use trees or anything. Dead. I just want to know that's where that strong light is coming from, way back out there somewhere. From those fields out there. And it's probably going to be hitting on this side of that tree right there. That's pulling up into here. And on that part that's heading up into here, and on that branch that's heading out here, when everything turned towards that direction, that light's probably going to hit it pretty strong. And again, Kind of roll your brush a little bit, lose that up and down stroke, and wrap that stroke around that tree a little bit. So you get the shape of that tree, how it kind of winds around. So once you put it on, it's hard to lose it. So you kind of roll that limb coming up there, and it kind of heading off in this direction here. Maybe a little bit out here. Don't be afraid to put these colors on there. We'll lose them in the overall scheme of things. We're just trying to still develop where those lights are going to be. I know we were going to be working way back down there, but I wanted some of this good color that I had while I had it, where I needed it. Right where it's going to be hitting on coming around this tree here. A little bit of limb log coming up there. And we're going to need that. Maybe back in here somewhere. That light's cast on the ground across there, coming across that road. I think that's where people, they get afraid to, to put all these different colors in there. Don't. Do it. Just put colors in there. You'll be surprised what will work out. You'll see, now we know that strong light's coming from way back up that holler over there. And that's what we wanted, that strong light coming up that holler. Grab some more of that white, just that yellow. It's a great sun color, just pull that in there. Let me see with that green. I want that just jumping out at me light. I got so much paint, I'm probably going to catch some of that in a little bit later. We'll pull some more there, here. The strokes laying side by side. That light's heading back into those, coming out of those woods, casting. It's coming down through that tree and probably back up in here. It's going to hit on a few of these limbs up higher here. Only on the higher part of the limbs. That kind of gives it a 
I guess come to the top of those trees a little bit. Now while I've got this color, let's roll some of it into this dark over here, where it's especially right where it's going to be hitting out here on these leaves. See. It might be hitting there on that tree. A little bit there. Keep your darks back in there. Roll that brush. Now I'll jump to a smaller brush. I was painting originally with this with, a, with an extremely large brush. Which I'm bad about doing that, but it covers a lot of area fast and gets it on there. But so you can tell that sun's hitting real pretty strong out that area. A little bit on that trail, I'll catch a good stroke there. A couple of lights will be behind. I'll put another tree in front of that. There's some lights shining back to those woods too. Get some a couple of places. Just pull that brush real lightly, cast some strokes in there. I will try to get all this light out of my brush right now because when I go dark, I gotta get this white out of here. There we go. Pull a few light strokes into here, kind of blend it in together. Catch it on the bank. We're gonna be hitting on this side of the bank. That's what you think about. Establish even the little smallest edge of the bank of a road. I'm going to clean my white out. I need to get some darks in here now. Because I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth, and it's just the way I paint. <laughs> Trying to get this light out. Clean my brush out a little bit. Ultramarine blue. Pull that down there. We have a little bit of that uh, blue right there. Trying to keep it dark. Grab some burnt sienna, mix in with it. Just trying to keep that good dark, kind of a dark green color down in here. Have to touch that phthalo blue or green, I'm sorry. Mix that in right there. See if that'll pay attention, please. <laughs> sorry. We do try to make this for y'all to see too what we're doing because I'm having such a good time. I hate for y'all to miss out on all this, but sometimes I get carried away myself. As I'm informed of very often. But that's uh, <laughs> kind of what we do sometimes, but that can't be already. I just keep hearing that little beep and say, Ralph, it's time. I said, Well, it can't be time yet. I ain't through. Does that start to look like a little row of trees back in there somewhere a little bit? And that tree went up in the sunlight, hitting it up in there. And we're trying to develop those little nooks and crannies. Y'all come back. <laughs>